Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for another PB&J card class. And today I'll be making a mixed media card with lots of different textures. And I'll also be using our creative dies. And here's a look at the card that we'll be making today. And I had a lot of fun using our new creative die, Fancy Heart, as the wings for the butterfly. So to begin, I'm going to be working on Canson 140 pound watercolor paper. And the reason is it's just a little bit thicker and it will be able to stay nice and flat when I add all the different mediums to it. And this is the stamp from our transparent set, Love Chapter. And I'm going to stamp this with VersaFine Onyx Black ink just onto the center of this panel. And in the finished card, this is just a very subtle texture in the background, but I really like the look of just a little bit of text on the card when it's finished. Next, I'm going to add some texture using the Shimmers Textures paste. And this is a dimensional textural shimmering paste. And it is like this really, um, oh, kind of crunchy texture to it. And it shimmers and there's pieces of glitter and mica in there. It's really gorgeous. And I'm applying this just around the outer edge of this piece. <laughs> Got a little bit of blue there from my scratch paper that had some ink on it, but it's not a problem because I'm going to be painting on top of this. And I'm just putting this on with a palette knife and moving it into the areas where the text is stamped. And I put on a pretty thick layer, so I will set this aside to dry. I like to let this air dry on its own as opposed to using the heat tool on it. So I set this aside and actually let it dry overnight, but 30 minutes or so it should be ready to go. Or you could use the heat tool on it. Sometimes you'll get a little bubbling, which is fine. It just gives you a little bit more texture when you're done. So while that's drying, I have a, another creative dye and this is our delicate wings dye and I'm spraying this with shimmers coloring sprays and I have all the exact colors listed at the end of the video and I'm applying several layers and drying in between so you can start light and then build up the color so you have a lot of control over the intensity of the color and now this is that beautiful new creative dye fancy heart and I'm going to be spraying this as well and I'm using the same colors, only I just won't put as many layers onto this piece so that it's a lighter version of the butterfly below. Now I'm gonna assemble the butterfly embellishment. So I'm putting just some liquid glue in the center and then I'm adding these hearts as wings. And I just love that that's a totally different way to use this die. And then we're going to put a piece of twine that's been tied into a bow right in the center. And then a large self adhesive pearl. And then that embellishment is complete. So now we'll go back to that background piece. And I'm going to paint this with gesso. And gesso is like a primer for the surface. And what I, the main reason I'm using this is just to tone down that background stamping so that the text is there, but it's really pushed into the background and is more of a texture than actually something you're trying to read as a sentiment. And then I'll also put that gesso over the top of the texture paste that's now completely dry. So when I apply the mediums, they'll apply to the same or a similar surface. So I'm just painting that on. And that I did dry with my heat tool just to speed things along. And it doesn't take very long to dry because it's a pretty thin layer. There's certain areas here on the text where I'm applying it a little bit thicker so that there's some areas of light and some areas of dark. So now that that's dry, I'm ready to spray. And I'm using the coloring sprays again. And I'm using the Don't Be Suede color and the Chocolate Brownie color. And I love how these dry. They just make this really great old paper kind of look once they're dry. Super easy way to do mixed media and have a distressed textural look. Now finally, these are cut from Penny Black's Creative Dye Leaves. And I'm spraying them again. And on these, I actually use the coloring sprays and one of the Vibe sprays, which is the color is Jenny B. Blue. And so these do have a beautiful shimmer in real life. It's hard to capture on camera, but these have a great shimmer too. So now I'm ready just to put everything together. And I'm just playing around here 
with the placement for all of the different items. I took the those little berries that were cut from the creative dye leaves and I just took one of those and tore it apart so I had some more options as far as placement goes and sizing. So here before I put any liquid adhesive down I do have dimensional adhesive on some of the berries on the back but that's not too sticky and I'm not pressing it down too hard till I'm positive I'm happy where they are. So I can put it down, check it for placement, and then move it around if I need to. I also off camera stamped the sentiment and that was from the Love Chapter transparent set as well and I stamped that with VersaFine ink, Onyx Black, and then I distressed the edges using Gathered Twigs Distress ink. And you'll see that in the final shot. Now to adhere the butterfly, just put liquid glue where the body would be, and that also holds down the, the stems of that leaves die cut. And I had one more piece here that I just wanted to insert and get that adhered down, so I'll put the dimensional adhesive on just a couple of the, I guess I'd call them berries, and then I'll just slide that right in. So you can see adding lots of textures and layers and mixing up the different mediums from sprays to texture paste to inks is really easy and it's really fun um, just to get a different look to your card. You could also do this in an art journal or on a canvas too. So here's a look at that final card. I just mounted it to my note card. And here's a couple close-ups of that really great texture that was created with the texture paste, the stamping, and the sprays. I also added a little bit of thread that I glued behind the butterfly just for even more texture and to pull that turquoise color from the leaves out a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with, with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, and on our website, and I'll have all of those linked in the description box below. And this, here's a complete list of all the supplies used on today's card.